Hi everybody, uh, Lady T here. I just wanted to, to wish all, all the dads a happy Father's Day today and um, a happy Sunday. And I'm gonna get ready and, and feed uh, f feed the kitty cats uh, pretty soon. I feed homeless kitty cats, so uh, I'll sh show you guys where, where it's at and what I do, how I feed them and, and all that stuff and, and how they live. They actually live in these little igloo things, so it's, pr it's pretty neat. So this is stuff I get. I get this from Walmart, and it's called uh, Special Kitty. Special Kitty Complete Nutrition. 100% uh, complete balance and nutrition for uh, kittens and and adult cats. So um, so you get a, like a 35 pound bag for for 20 dollars and 21 cents, something like that. So I'm gonna get ready to take some over now. ready to cross the street in a minute here. Nobody likes to stop at this this uh, at this intersection too. Everybody goes th through the lights. It's getting ready to change right now. So. I've got to look both ways. <laughs> so we're crossing the road. We got a Dollar Tree over there. I like going to to that place. Dollar Tree and then there's uh, the coin laundry is over there as, as well. So we're just walking down this alley down, down here and uh, there's a recycle thing over, over there. There's a sidewalk up here actually. It's just after that car up there. So yeah this is an alley like behind the uh, all the businesses around here too so so the sidewalk is, is right up here it's a gloomy day today it's kind of raining and and it's been doing that a lot here in Michigan so here's the little pathway here we just take this uh, sidewalk and this is like a, a nursing home or it's not a nursing home it's like assistant living so it's supposed to be a real nice place they got their own bus down there so and we'll go up to where the cats are at so this is where the cats stay at they actually stay behind this building here and Mike's gonna lift up this uh, this thing here. That's where the kittens eat, eat is over there. Where? The kittens that they eat over there. I think their their dish needs to be washed washed out or something. So we're gonna wash out some, some of their dishes. It looks like somebody well maybe somebody did wash it out. Or it was probably the rain did that. <laughs> So we're gonna go back here, and, and I'll sh I'll show you guys what all this stuff looks looks like where they live in. Yeah, you gotta give them some fresh See, water. Yeah. Well, I got my water thing over in my in my uh, thing. See that that's the food right there. That's my food from from yesterday actually. And uh, I always keep it. Can you take one of these foods? Can you take one of those foods over there, too? Here. Fill them back up. Yeah. So the, these are where the, where the cats stay at. They stay it's really muddy back here, by the way. All, all these little igloo things all over here um, that the cats stay in these things. Um, yeah. the, the food is on my uh, scooter, Mike. Yeah, I know. I'm just looking at the homes dirt. Yeah. So I don't know who made these, these homes and everything. But uh, I'll show you some more of these other homes. Now that, that right there is a... Uh, um, it's a groundhog nest right right there So it's so a groundhog lives in there And here we got some more homes a few more homes where the homeless kitties go And uh, This is like a, a kind of sub pump if anybody knows what this is right here water comes out of those things right there 
And uh, these other ones up here, let me show you guys really quick. These things up here too. So if anybody knows what these things are, you know, let me know. I think it's like some kind of a like city sub pump or something. I don't know. Well, we got that there too. And uh, the kittens stay over there. But it's, yeah, it's pretty muddy over here actually. And uh, I think there's another nest. See, there's like a hole in the like a hole in the ground. That might be a raccoon nest, but I'm not for sure. So I never come back here late at night just so I don't get attacked by any kind of animals. <laughs> So we're going to feed them. So Mike's uh, filling up the water. Uh, th there's like a spigot on the side of the building too. Mike's filling up the water and then... Uh, Is it on the side of this building? I'll, I'll show you. you got to walk them down from the fire. I can do it. So we're getting this all filled up. Yeah, I can only take one at a time. Uh... Okay. So we're just filling this up with a special kitty food, and we put it right up against the building, the the food that is, uh, so it won't uh, it won't get wet. Probably walk around that thing. So we give the, this is what I give the kitties. It might be my first time. With my friend Mike uh, going back with the cats. So, so that's what we do, and I'm gonna get get some more water, and I, I feed them like three times a week. So, and I washed uh, some of these bowls out for them uh, with soap and water. All right, so I'm back. Uh, and anyway, um, uh, tomorrow, which w which will be Monday, I'm gonna call the Michigan Humane Society because there, there's like kittens back there too. There's like. Uh, either three or four kit kittens and there's at least four adult cats back there so there's like between seven and eight cats back there and uh you know that they need a good home so that um that they'll all get either spayed or neutered uh by the michigan humane society and then um they get their rabies shots and they'll get uh all, you know all their vaccinations for their you know they get dewormer and uh Flea, flea and tick medication too and what they do with the older ones is they they don't adopt them out unless they see that they're tame uh, what what they do is they return them back to the same place they they came from and uh, they put they clip clip their ear they take a little clip of their ear I know that kind of sounds in, uh, inhumane but that's what they do to be able to tell what cats they captured and everything and uh, the cats the kittens though that they will adopt them out so, so that's a good thing. So at least they'll be, they'll be, I'll be taken care of and everything. And I'll still bring them food like three times a week, uh, like what I do and stuff. And uh, as a matter of fact, I got to get some more food probably tomorrow at, at Walmart, the special kitty stuff. Uh, it's not that good for them, but it's uh, about all I can afford. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Peace. See you later. Bye-bye.